In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a simple boxed text effect YouTube thumbnail. Uh, you can also just use this text for any design, it doesn't have to be YouTube, but uh, pretty straightforward and easy. What we're gonna do is log into Canva and go up the top to create a design. And because we're doing a thumbnail, I'm gonna type in YouTube thumbnail and choose the thumbnail there. So now I've got my thumbnail here ready to go. Uh, I'm actually going to zoom out for a second. And we can, of course, just go and find a template that way if we'd like to, but I'm gonna sort of cut through and start it from the start so you can basically do it however you feel is best. Uh, so I'm gonna, first of all, we want our box text to sort of show up against it, an image kind of similar to like one of these. So I'm gonna go into elements and uh, I'm actually gonna add in, say something like someone thinking. I've actually sort of dry run this just before doing this video. And I'm just gonna pop this image in here. Now you can use your own image or you can find other images online or do a bit of a search, but just so we're getting on with the tutorial, I sort of pick this one. And if you're using Canva Pro, which I'll put a link to in the description below, you can actually go into edit image and remove the background. So you can then add in something else behind the person. Uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I did just want to mention that we're going to skip past that. But one thing you can do if you are using the free version is if you're using elements, here, you can also type in something like square or blob and add in like a blob shape if you want to sort of break things up a little bit and sort of rotate it till you get an effect you're happy with. So we get this kind of blob effect if we want to use that. So you actually have some options with, uh, you know, adding in shapes and breaking things up that way. But we're going to cut straight to the text effect now because we've got our background in place. All I need to do now is go to text add a heading, and I'm gonna type in something like, uh, so I've got a basic text box here. I'm gonna actually highlight this text, go up the top here to the little A, and I'm gonna make it white. You can make it whatever color you want because you sort of want the box to be a very high contrast color. So if it's white, I want a black box or a dark color and vice versa. So now I've got this here, I don't like the font. I go through, I find another font such as Barlow Condensed. So now I've got my box and I'm gonna just make some adjustments. I can resize it. Keep in mind, if you don't wanna resize your text but only change the size of the box, just hit the side, this side panel here. And of course you've got your usual settings up here on your text, such as centering, bold, italics, the color, that kind of thing. But I've got my text here and I wanna put it in a box. Now in the past I would have drawn a box but I'm actually going to use something different which makes it a lot easier. Something that's really good about Canva. Uh, I'm gonna go over here to effects. And here there is a background setting. And now you can see it's added a box around that text, which is pretty handy. And there's even some settings here. I can change the spread to make it narrower, tighter or larger. The roundness, I can make it more square or maybe just slightly rounded, but it's actually pretty cool. And the transparency I can knock down or I can change the color. Maybe I want to choose more of a dark brown color. And now I've actually got my my box text effect. And the cool thing is also, if I make this uh, second line a bit shorter, it'll actually cut in but if I increase the spread, it does eventually change to a full box. So you have a few options there to play with some flexibility. Uh, but I'm gonna change that back to productively. And so I can pop this here, I can rotate it, and I've got my little box text. And then the cool thing is I can go back at any time, click on this text, go to effects, and uh, change these background settings or add in other effects if I want to. But what I'm gonna do now is to add a few more boxes in. I'm gonna click on the three dots here, which you might not have. I'm zoomed in, so let's cut some of this stuff off and hit it under there. I'm gonna click this duplicate button, and then I'm going to just type in again. And I can then move this, and I can change a few things. Maybe I decide I wanna make this text a dark brown which makes it almost impossible to read. But I go back into effects, go down the background and make the color white. And I can resize, rotate, and very easily get some nifty little setups there. So it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you can add shadows to the text, but it does remove the background. So if you wanna go that way, but um, the background itself is pretty handy. 
Um, you can get some different effects with it. The yellow I find is actually not too bad, but maybe we'll go for the white again. So you can simply do that, move these things around. If you find that you want the white box to sit behind this box, I just right click and go send backward. Although it's sort of sent a bit too far. So I'm going to just take this blob. I'm going to send it backward. And that way we can position things over or under how we like. So that's exact, pretty much how to do it. Pretty straightforward and easy. Simply typing in your text and using that effect, you can create boxes. And that way, if you're someone who wants to really brand your channel up with lots of boxed style text, this is how you can do it very quickly and easily and automate the process so you can just basically work quicker. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, please consider giving it a like. Don't forget if you want to actually download this thumbnail, go up top to share and download here and you can choose a JPEG and then you're good to go. Otherwise, um, yeah, check out if you're looking for more Canva tips, I do have a playlist below with a ton of tutorials and videos. So check that out if that interests you. Otherwise, have a great day. I hope to speak to you again soon.